the Mind Fuck series by S.T. Abbey. So these are five books, so I might take a bit longer than a minute. So there is The Risk, Sidetracked, Scarlet Angel, All the Lies and Paint It All Red. Um, so we follow Lana, who is a serial killer, the best serial killer. Um, she is like sexy and clever and passionate. Um, and she's basically killing guys who wronged her in the past not just by cheating on her, but a really awful event um, that you don't kind of find out about until further along. Uh, she falls in love with a guy um, who is an FBI agent, uh, which is of course exactly what you want. His name is Logan. Um, you can just tell he's attractive. Their chemistry, their relationship is just beautiful. And so it's kind of moments of like incredible bliss, happiness, like amazing sex, like just love. And then there's these big horrible dips of um, you know, the rush of her killing someone and remembering all these things that happened to her and wanting to kind of shut down this relationship. Um, but of course, you don't want that to happen. Um, it's over five books and every book ends on a cliffhanger, except of course the last one, and your heart will be racing. It was the best book series I have read in such a long time. Um, the writing is, is akin to, um, you know my boy Mark Edwards. Uh, I talk about him a lot on my blog absolutely incredible. Um, there's some incredible characters like Jake and Hadley um, who you kind of find out about along the way. Um, there's so many twists and so many intricacies. Um, you think you know what happened to her when she was younger but actually you don't. Um, you think you know why she's getting revenge on these guys but you don't and um, everything is kind of described in minute detail so you know exactly kind of how she gets away with it which is something I really appreciate. Um, you know just in case I ever have to do the deed myself. Um, really, really, really could not um, could not recommend these more. The covers are awful and they make it look like a really trashy book, but they are so, so good and I cannot wait until more books come out by this author. Angie Baby by Terry Kerr. So Hayley and Graham have just had a miscarriage. Um, it's really sad and they go back home. They're a really great couple, that's something to note. I really, I enjoyed them as a couple. Um, and then weird things start happening. I quite like creepy books. I don't usually choose ones that are about kind of the paranormal. Um, because I just don't think I'd find them scary. However, this was terrifying. I couldn't read it in the house alone. It was incredible. Um, a lot of stuff happens. You find yourself really connected to the characters. Graham's dad is, for some reason, very attractive and I'm not sure why. Um, the story is stressful and frustrating and terrifying and really bloody good. Um, I would fully recommend uh, reading one of Terry's books. I'm going to read a few more. Um, later this year to so watch this space. Um, lots of twists. I cried a few times. I laughed a lot. It's actually quite a funny scary book um, and there are a few points where I had to put it down and turn on the light because I'm a giant chicken so definitely read it.